Hello my friends and welcome to the Through the Eyes of George YouTube channel. Today what we're going to talk about is healthcare and what George Washington most likely would want if he were alive today with our American healthcare system. For a little bit of background, let's uh, first talk about George Washington and his health as a young man and into his later years. When George Washington was a young man, he had mumps, he had smallpox, he had several cases of malaria throughout his life and several cases of dysentery throughout his life. George Washington also had uh, a complete uh, set of false teeth made from hippopotamus ivory uh, bone, from cow bone at times, human bone, human teeth at times, and sometimes wooden. Those dentures or false teeth compared to today were extremely uncomfortable and had to be replaced at several times during his uh, life. And today we have incredible medical advancements in false teeth where people can have a complete set of implants top and bottom of uh, their uh, gums, which is fantastic. But that wasn't available in George Washington's time. Now, in the year 1799, George Washington, uh, on, on December 13th, he went out for a ride uh, in the winter time. It was very cold. He came back after checking his uh, crops and his uh, property, and he had dinner with his family, and he read the newspapers afterwards. He was with his uh, family and the people that were there at his uh, house. So. And he didn't change his clothes and they were very cold and wet. So with that being said, he uh, caught a case of strep throat and in the morning of December 14th, 1799, George Washington woke up and he woke up his wife and he told his wife what was going on. Martha suggested that he take some medicine. His secretary, Tobias Layer, asked that George Washington take some medicine as well and George Washington declined. Now George Washington called for the physician on the property which was uh, uh, you could say Doc Rollins or just Rollins. Uh, he also called for Dr. Crack which was his doctor for the past 40 years of his life. Now there also was another doctor that came to visit Dr. Brown. And what was continuing to happen is the tightening of his uh, uh, esophagus, trachea area, the back of his throat where the epiglottis was. It was a severe case, or you could say an acute tonsillitis, um, swelling up so much that he couldn't breathe. And in that time, in that era, what was thought to be best, what Dr. Brown and Dr. Crack did is bloodletting with the permission of George Washington. They did that four times and still no improvement. He was given heavy laxatives which didn't improve George Washington's condition. But there was another doctor that came, Dr. Elijah Dick. Now Dr. Elijah Dick went to the same school as Dr. Crack, the doctor that George Washington knew for 40 years. And Dr. Dick suggested a tracheotomy to give some airflow or airway to the esophagus trachea area in his respiratory system. Dr. Brown and Dr. Crack declined as the senior doctors on scene. So they continued to the blood letting, doing it a fourth time. That wasn't helping uh, George Washington's condition. Finally, George Washington shooed away the doctors and the physicians and all that was left was Tobias, Martha Washington, and a few other people. And George Washington asked Martha to get his will and to put it in a safe place and she put it in her closet. And George Washington throughout his life had, like I have mentioned, uh, a few of them, uh, physical ailments and medical medical conditions that could very well have been cured if he were alive today. Now George Washington passed away 
at 67 years old on December 14th, 1799. He didn't talk uh, much about God. In fact, it was really never mentioned uh, in any biography uh, or any other source. And the source for this information that I've gathered is in this book by Wind, uh, Wildred Randall, uh, George Washington, A Life. And another source for this book is His Excellency by Joseph Ellis. These books depict a very vivid picture of the end days of George Washington's life and a few of the health problems that he experienced. Now, if George Washington were alive today, how would he want uh, health care to be if he were president today? Well, George Washington understood the uh, topic of limited government. We have the Ninth and the Tenth Amendment, which essentially is things that aren't delegated in the Constitution are expressly delegated to the people and to the states respectively, so the states have the power to choose for the people in their area. And there's also the Commerce Clause, which was used a lot in um, healthcare recently, that uh, essentially is that the government delegates or regulates commerce to foreign entities, to the states, and to Indian tribes. Now, George Washington most likely would have wanted a version of universal health care or Obamacare but with a free market and competition with the states competing against each other because someone whose needs are in like Maine or Florida or Washington State or California are different than all the other states. Um, we also have Medicaid, we have Medicare those are things that George Washington also most likely would support um, with the states respectively being responsible for themselves, like the Ninth and the Tenth Amendment would state. Now, George Washington would also support wonderful, brilliant nurses and doctors to make medical advancements, universities. If the tracheotomy was more renowned, George Washington most likely would have lived a little bit longer. And the doctors in that time, in that room, as George Washington was uh, passing away, most likely would have done that. Now, George Washington understood the importance of health. Probably no one else in in his life understood it better than he did considering all the things that had happened to George. Now George at times is a very quiet uh, individual and he would want the best for himself and his family. What if all these things that happened to George happened to you? What if you had constant dysentery, constant malaria, mumps? What if you had a case of completely false teeth? How would you want that to be taken care of? Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Looking forward to talking with you. Don't forget to click the notification bell and give it a thumbs up. Thank you.